Well, it's an early Wednesday morning. Hopefully, uh, we find some something at Lambertville today. There's a few people set up. Hope. Always looking for good antiques or something. Does that one run or no? Got me. Got you. What do you get on them? 30 bucks. That's cheap. I didn't try it. I just got it yesterday. That one's kind of cool with the stars. What do you get on the watchmaker stuff, the tins? 20 bucks. Are they all empty or? Got me. Nah, some's got stuff in it. I opened a couple of them. Heck crap in it. Probably gold. Well, that's what we're hoping for, right? Yeah, Could you do 20 with the key? With the who? With the key. Okay. Thank you. Billy, 35? 40 bucks, brother. That's the best I could do. You know they're not reprints? No, they're not reprints. I guarantee it. You guarantee it. Money back guarantee it. Also, okay. Good morning. Right. Get that. Black memorabilia? No, I think it's... Can't see it. Not enough light. Ten bucks. Yeah, it seems pretty dark. Oh, it's... Looks like it could be like Philmont or something. What do you get on the film? Five bucks. You good? Yeah, I think we might get the five for ten. I know. Step up five right dollars. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. I right. know you can so, do it. So it's twenty with that then, right? Twenty with what? Or I mean thirty with the with the tins, right? Yes. yes. Ten All bucks right, on it. I think they're a lamp or a lipstick holder. I don't know. I do. That's why I'm going to give you 35. I love me character. How about this nice jug? Put some whiskey in it. Here, Bill. Are they lamps, Bill? Huh? Are they lamps? I don't know. Just pull them out. Take a look at it. Take it before I change my mind. <laughs> <laughs> He's forcing me. Oh, they're lighters. Ah, sweet. They're sweet. I like them. Sure, can I take the box or you need the box? No, you can. Yeah? Okay, put them little toys on the side. All right. All right, so you look them up, they're not reprints. Right? Always like these 1920s, 1940s uh, nail clippers. Let's see what he can get on that. Still haven't left this booth. You're okay, right? How much is uh, the nail clippers? And Moby Dick. Hey, ain't that cool? Five bucks. All right. Thank you. What's up, brother? I guess that's it. What do you get on the lighter? Five bucks. All right. Pretty cool one. Yeah. So it's ten then, right? Ten bucks. Very cheap. It's actually a good solder. Nice and thin. The roll of solder? That goes with that solder on the machine. Oh, right here. Yeah, that's 40 bucks for the machine. Thank you. It's actually a good machine. Oh, this lighter's pretty cool. 
What do you get on the compact? Uh, how about three? <laughs> kind of fun with the bird and the worm. <laughs> Get that. Tony. How much is the? How about two? Definitely have to do that. Thank you, Renee. Yeah. Uh, small for me. Sorry. <laughs> hey, Ray. Pretty good. Any? Uh, did you bring that? Or do you have that box of jewelry? I have it somewhere, man. I'm sorry about that. Oh, it's all good. Uh, it's all what do you get on the cat? Uh, Ten bucks. What do you think it was? For? No idea. Like fancy people. Yeah, I know, but it it, I, it must have had a maybe kitchen. Maybe a ring holder. Uh, yeah, I I figured it could be jewelry thing. I don't know. Different. This were together, so one, two, three. So it could be in an office, a kitchen, maybe. 1999. Sorry. Trade my one buddy film for antiques every once in a while. Look older. These are always silver plate. At least most of the ones you pick up. Table. You can see how spread out everything is. Hopefully, get, get a few more dealers. Train's pretty cool. How much is the little shaving mirror? 200? Oh, the mirror? Yeah. Oh, sorry. The mirror, no. The mirror is in 95. 95? Yeah. It's pretty it's cool. A, it's a shaving mirror. Yeah. And I put a, the thing broken, it, you put a new um, thing a, on it. A new little washer on it? Or uh, what's it called? Yeah. Uh, it's pretty cool. I don't know what I'm gonna do would do with it, but it is cool. <laughs> nah, no military. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> what the fuck? That's you. Uh, How you doing, Tony? Sometimes the fuel pipe, mate. How much is the boot puller? Yeah, uh, forty bucks. That's pretty cool. It is cool. You want me to leave it shut or open? I'll shut it. And that way somebody else gets the <laughs> thrill of discovery. What the hell happened to the sun? I wanted you to be cold today. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we find. How much is that? What do you get on the letters? Uh, under 15 for all of them. Some early stamps. Yeah, it looks like... Yeah. Mostly war. Alright, I'll do that. You want that? Which one do you want? I'm going to get the, the okay. letters. Thank you. What do you get on the poppies? Wow, huh? Holy mackerel. Oh, I didn't see that. I didn't see how it started. Is that bad? <laughs> I didn't notice. Uh, <laughs> the, the, <laughs> the, the poppy coasters? A bucket two bucks. And uh, I guess the Indian Bell? The best guy. Um, Doesn't have same, a name. A couple of bucks. All right. You sold all the the buttons. A lot of them went, yeah. Good. It's a nice little set. Yeah. Might have to get that little set. Oh, 
box in here and see what that is. That's Staples. Oh, yeah. Most look like they should be gold filled, but they're not marked. I thought it was room, but somebody said no, it's supposed to be that little hole here. See what the. Yeah, it's motion grounded like that? Oh, I don't I think the heat. I think it's more. I thought it got room like that. Because it's not uniform, it's small percentage. I think that's a crash of two, probably. Yeah, it's reading what. What do you add on it? I don't think they're gold filled. Here's the. Probably uh, skater. Yeah, no, not your. I was somewhere there. Yeah. She said no, it's supposed to be one. Right. Uh, Let's see if it'll take five bucks. Plus. What do you get on the metals? You got, I guess, one. Let's make a pile. I'll give you that. You don't know if you have the other, maybe that's the other part right oh, there. Oh, all the religious ones, yeah. Yeah. I'll give you a good deal. Well, without that flower, what would you want on that? Ten bucks. All right, I'll do it. Probably here. more in the, in the You think there's... That might be one here, see? Yeah, it might be. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, there are a couple more. Well, and tomorrow looks like defi oh, yeah. definite rain out. Always like the American tour store luggage. Yeah, that's things. Like that. You had a little guy with this. Yep. all there. Enamel copper uh, little tray. Size like a nut dish. How much that one? Uh, Two dollars. Alright. Is that considered close? Well, it's close and whatever. In uh, the, it's, it's harmless for two bucks. Yeah. <laughs> Call it like enamelware or something. Okay. I don't know. I'm not sure. Gotta look like a yep. Thank you. How's it going? I found a little uh, piece I have to go bring over to Brian. It was on a it was on a religious pendant, but it the chain. It's either uh, it's either stainless or platinum. I don't know. Is there much out there? There's not too many people today. What do you think that's all about? Uh, it was, it was wet when everybody woke up. So they didn't come. Well, that's my guess. I mean, yeah, there seems to be gonna, buyers. I'm gonna guess the same thing. What, uh, what is this pile? Dollar, and if you, for you, today, on the jewelry, not on the stainless, mm -hmm. this, I mean, this silver plate, uh, two for a dollar for you. Just to keep it. Too good to me. Well, you're a good one. Well, I would think so. Makes you hope it wasn't silver. <laughs> I'll try to pick ten dollars worth. We got a lot of little, little charms. Combination. I'm gonna go relax. It's gonna be one of their days. Just to chill. Anything on that side too? I'm actually surprised that there's so few people. Well, hopefully it gets better. I'm not gonna worry about it. You going tomorrow? No, it's gonna be pouring. Oh, that's right. I, I knew that. Boring. Really boring. Normally, it means it's going to be busy here on the... Uh, you know what it said about Friday? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. You won't believe it. Uh, doesn't mean it will happen. Yeah. Ready? Weather. 
weather for Friday. It's going to be nice, hopefully. Friday's forecast Snow. for Hopewell Township is 45 degrees with snow showers. Yeah, that's... In the morning. For three hours. Four hours. Do <laughs> you believe that? Well, anything's possible. But then Saturday's good, Sunday's good. I heard all next week, 60. Yeah. Yeah, we need that. Oh, it's always good for the market. Oh, it's only, only, only my heart talking. Oh, it's only, only, only. This is cool. This is cool. Oh, got a little bit of stuff. Got that chill in the air today, don't it? Yes, it does. All right. Let's see what else we get. I know. If it didn't, I'd feel bad. Almost looks like it's bake light. Right. Steve, good morning. How you doing? Hey, what do you get on the necklace? They love your hat. <laughs> your hat, when you told me, they love it, you know? Like, somebody was like, that's Steve's hat. I was like, yeah. How much that one? <laughs> ten. 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 Is it Bakelite? Yes, that is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. I don't know. I picked this. I, it's either stainless steel or... Uh, it looks like some type of steel. I found a little bit of gold in the jewelry box. And oh, it, I have your bag. Okay. Magnetic. And then you got a little uh, bit of gold. A little bit of gold. Uh, where are you parked? All right, I'll go walk it over. Okay. If I'm not there, you can just leave it on the hood. My magnet wasn't strong enough. Hood. Yeah. The one to test. Brian, test this one right, right here. It has the diamond chips. I just couldn't find a, a good solid mark. Hmm. Is it bad or? Unless it's a lookout. Let me look quick. Yeah, I, I didn't see it. Nice little pair of earrings here. Here. That, yes. All right. Like. I'll do 50. Okay. I bought uh, bought one present for uh, ah. Lindsay. I got that uh, oh, yeah, nice. silver snuff bottle box. What's it, English mark? Or? Nah, modern mark. But hey, Bo, Brian. I think it has some age. Yeah. Um, on and off, because right. I'm with the customers. Ah, Basically good. a good treat. All right, boom. That tore up stamp you had that time, that real good one, you still got it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, after I drove away, I was like, well, I guess I could have offered them five or ten bucks. For it. That's six cents. You could mail yeah. that. Gave these to my buddy Jim. You want, uh... What do you want for, uh, the rabbit emblem? Ten bucks. You can't put that on your car. No. You're in a relationship. <laughs> Well, no, but we have a bunny at home. Oh, well, that, well, well. that one? No. That's the baseball one. You hardly ever see that. That was, that was a good red two center, unused. Oh, yeah, I saw that. I think it was a, yeah, well. Or un, uncanceled or whatever. Yeah, but it was like that one, right? Yeah. These two are good just because the one is uh, one Shanghai, I think, right? Oh, you mean that one? No. This is a special delivery. The no special delivery stamp. Here's a special delivery. I think we'll get the rabbit then emblem. Would you want that? Yeah. Five dollars. All right. That'll help you with your 15 that you paid on these and then I'm 
I'm happy that you'll appreciate the stamps. <laughs> Thank you. They're just going. Well, made it back. Didn't buy that much stuff. The reason I bought the slides in the beginning, uh, it had a bunch of like Boy Scout scenes. So I think they'll do fairly well. Uh, the way I would suggest selling slides like this is count out 20 of them and list them for 10 or 12 bucks. There's about a 60 slides, 70 slides here. So they should do fairly well, but I've done well with the uh, old Boy Scout before. I believe it's, there's a thing here. It says 1960. So had a, it's now 60 years old. It's hard to believe. Or, is that right? Yeah. 60 years old. Man, I can't believe that. So I think they'll sell. I think it might be actually Philmont. I'm not 100% sure, but that's what that looks like to me. So I'll have to look that up. The Moby Dick uh, bottle opener. This key with the stars is actually pretty cool. I bet that will sell fairly well. I always like these jewelry tins, even though uh, he doesn't have watch parts in here. I think maybe a couple of the cylinders have watch parts, but they're actually, the vials are pretty cool too with the little brass tops. But it looks like I spent $20 on all the tins and there's about, uh, I think there's over, over 30 of them. So it's less than a dollar a tin. It'll be, uh, I don't know if I'll save them for something I'm playing with or sell them online. Uh, the nail clippers, they always seem to sell fairly well, the, especially the early ones. This uh, lighter kind of looks like a Luger. It's pretty, uh, it's made by the National Silver Company. Matchomatic, but uh, I don't know what it's worth. Hopefully, uh, hopefully more than five bucks. Got this from Paper Moose and the Compact. Uh, she was set up today. I do like the theme of the Compact. It's got that uh, bird with the worm. Uh, what else did we get? We got a bunch of religious medals, a few tie bars. I got one or two pins for the 50 cent deal, but uh, here's a nice thistle pin, but I was mainly buying the religious lot and uh, a few uh, tie bars. I bought another religious lot for uh, I think it was $10. This is actually a sterling rosary with mother of pearl. I like how the mother of pearl uh, heart is carved into it. But I think it doesn't have enough beads. I'm not 100% sure. Definitely needs a repair there. But that was pretty cool. The copper Thunderbird. I always like the America or the American Torster uh, luggage keys, but this one was cool because it had the original tab. Um, I guess that's it. So, oh no, I forgot about the two cool things. I bought the bunny at the end for ten dollars. I did trade, uh, I got uh, cash plus the bunny for the letters and basically traded the gold I sold for the, for the shell. I just thought it was uh, pretty neat. I did go run inside. Um, we do have a little theme with those on the one dresser. Here's a, another, this, this is a nice early Victorian snuff and it kind of has the same type of gold gilding inside let's see i can show you this one 
because you need two hands to open this one. It's tricky. So, I think, leave me a comment which one you like the more, the snail or the scallop shell. I know we pick shells a lot, so I think Lindsay will like it. All right. If you guys haven't yet, please uh, give a, someone a call who might be alone. Uh, please be safe out there, and thank you very much for watching. Catch you next video, and we'll never know what we'll find tomorrow. It's supposed to rain, but maybe we'll uh, work on one of the six boxes that I got in trade. All right, see you later. Peace. Yeah, the shell was definitely my favorite.